Hi everyone, welcome to week two of the Monday Wrap. My name is Ian Langston, this guy over here is Neil Gray, and we're just going to whip through four issues from the weekend that we've brought up, 30 seconds, this time we've got a timer, so you're going to know when we're going to run over time, it's very exciting, new technology. Okay, first uh, question, second week of club cricket, best performance of the weekend, Neil, what was it? Here we go. Right, so Andrew De Border, ace is uh, vice captain last year, 85 not out versus Grafton, very good. Um, Savage DR unbeaten with 135 for Papatoi against Birkenhead, but the star performance of the week hitting my poor office mate Ben Mylat as Eden Ross School team all over Oraki domain, clearing the boundary an amazing number of times, was Ben Ray with 154. And Parnell's total of 305 for four versus Ross. That's our goal. That's our goal. And that was perfect. Brilliant now. Choke of the weekend? Choke of the week, yep. A new one for us. We thought, hey, let's get it out there. Choke of the week. Actually, really only one contender in this one, actually, to be honest. Uh, most of the games were relatively one way traffic. But I think the university will be kicking themselves uh, this morning. Managed to bowl uh, suburbs out for only, I think, about 170 odd, I believe, 172 for nine. Got away to a good start. The 69 without loss, and uh, then collapsed to be all out for 152. Uh, when you only need another 100 odd runs to claim your second consecutive victory of the One Day Trophy, uh, one, Jeff broke up. Oh, I'm done. Hey. University, joke of the week, done. Uh, Neil, let's move on to what else, there was some other cricket over the weekend as well on the international front. Black Caps got off to a brilliant start against Zimbabwe, 10 wicket win. Uh, but Neil, should we be giving some new players uh, some game time in what is looking like an easy series or is it all about the winning? Uh, I think on the basis of, of this weekend's game, I think we need to get as many new guys out there as we can. Race with a good start, no, I didn't get up to watch it because I thought they would win pretty easily and then they play again tonight. So. Yeah, I think at the minute the oval ball code is, is ruling the, the round ball code, but it's, it's good that they're dealing with the Zimbabweans comprehensively, so get as many guys into national experience as we can. Stop talking. Yeah. Okay, we've got one last thing, and I'm going to have to talk to uh, Neil about this one, because he's all over this. Uh, Mancat, it's back, and apparently it's back in Auckland cricket as well, Neil. Yeah, I mean, everyone that's played indoor will know Mancats and how frustrating it is, but um, it's now out there and outdoor, and... Correct me if I'm wrong, we might well be, but we had our first reported case in our Premier Reserve game this weekend, Ellerslie versus Takapuna. The Ellerslie captain, Matthew Scott, was dismissed with a man cat. And it does stick in the gut a little bit as, a, as an Ellerslie man, it hurts, but I still just, I just can't see it outdoor. It just, it's just not... It's the free kit for Get over it, I say. And that is the Monday wrap for another week. We'll be back uh, next Monday uh, wrapping up everything that's been happening in cricket over the weekend. Catch you then. See you.